Hey guys, and welcome back to War Thunder. It is Krebsy here in the glorious, glorious box tank. Stalin's caravan, his camper van. And so today, we're going to be going camping, both in the wilderness of Finland, seeing the great uh, sights and beauty of winter in Finland. But likewise, we're also going to be doing another form of camping, which is just staying sedimentary in a... Uh, in one spot basically because that's the most effective way to play this vehicle it is the box tank uh, a vehicle that is able to be killed very easily but likewise can kill enemies very easily it only has 60 millimeters of armor all the way around so as you can imagine at this battle rating of 5.3 that leaves much more to be desired uh, so it can be very easily killed off but likewise, with 130mm cannon doing 225mm of penetration, you can derp enemies very, very quickly. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to go to my uh, hidey hole over here somewhere. I'm going to be trying to use this in a sniping capacity to pick off people as they uh, approach along this side. Actually, now I've just realized the cap point is on A. Hmm. There might only be one or two people that go along the side, likewise there might not even be any that go along the side. And now this has actually made this scenario a whole lot more awkward. This scenario is not tailored towards the SE100Y whatsoever. That guy is gone, but that guy could do some mass damage to me pretty soon here. I have to duck back into cover real quick. In fact, what I'm gonna do is just drive forward so that hopefully... Woo! I get some weird angles, and then he can't shoot me properly. Here we go. See? Now that I'm back down into the cover, using the terrain to my advantage, he can't shoot me. But luckily, I didn't take any losses. That's good. A little bit scratched, but I'm sure band-aids can uh, make that better. Oh, never mind. Band-aids are not going to make that better. No way. Okay. A bit awkward. Tank has a really big silhouette. Very big uh, profile to it. There we go. Alright, so we're down one guy. Reveal yourself. Do it again. And let me... And let me see a little bit more this time. Let me see at least the rest of your turret. Do it. Yes! <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that again. Oh my gosh, how many T-34s are there? Literally T-34 heaven. So I'm really just trying to work around this big silhouette on this tank right now. It is very awkward indeed. Okay. There he is. So he does that again. And we're going to give him the 130mm treatment. What do you guys think? Oh, I dare you. Come on. Come on, do it. You know you want to. You, want, you know you want to take a, a shot into my, my profile. Don't tell me he's invisible. Please don't. He is invisible, isn't he? God damn it! I hate when that happens. I absolutely hate when that happens. Invisible tank. What are you supposed to do against it? But luckily, I've got six crew members in here, so if I lose two of them, I'm still a functioning vehicle. Okay, I need to get to a more proper positioning here. Okay, so that T-34 is on fire. And it looks like he just used a fire extinguisher. So I want to see if I can maybe reverse a little bit here. Then pick him off. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, how did he survive that? Amazing. Amazing capability by the T-34. Surviving a shell. A 130mm shell. Mind you, one of them died. One of his crew members. But now he's learned a little bit of a lesson. He's backing off. So definitely not the best of scenarios. I mean, this map isn't bad. It's actually quite good for... This tank, it's just the scenario is kind of bad. Just having this one central VP point, capture point, it's not the best. The reason why is because I want to have enemies spread out across the map, going for a different objectives. That makes it a whole lot easier, because once I clear out these guys... Hold on. Once I clear out these guys, then I need to make my way towards the middle if I want to make kills, and that's just going to be close encounters, isn't it? Okay, so I can grab a bomber here. Let's do that. Get out of here! 
There you go, that was his biggest mistake to reveal himself to me. So what I need to do is try to clear out this front. And then maybe devote the rest of my bombs towards the middle. Yeah, I think that would be good. But there's certain maps that the SE100Y is like really bad on. I'd say Carpathians is one of them. You have to play around uh, on that map differently. Uh, for example, you can't go on top of the big hill because there's openings where the enemies can shoot at you. So that can lead to really bad situations. Alright, so we're going to devote a bomb for this T-34. And likewise, one for this guy over here. Don't worry, man. You're not going to get away. And we got time to reverse around here. Because look at all the guys in the middle right there. Whoa, I'm going. I'm turning really slow. Really slow. Whoa. I think I'm damaged, that's why. Okay, I think we might get one more from that. One more. Alright, and now I'm going to make my way towards the middle, but I've got to be... This is going to be kind of awkward. Two more. Wow. Talk about uh, spoiling me. Thank you very much. But this is going to be kind of awkward because there's a lot of guys. We've seen them in that bomber. There's a lot of guys. Uh-oh. Oh, he's dead. But damn it, I've taken a loss. Ah, oh, man. Because this vehicle has two loaders, if I lose, uh, I can lose up to two guys before it starts affecting my reload speed. So, see? I've lost. I've only got three out of six guys now. And now my reloading speed is taking a toll as a result. There we go. My tank's repaired. Oh, damn it. Haha, <laughs> that sucks. All right, reload speed is going to be a lot worse. I mean, normally it's about 20 seconds. Now it's going to be... I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the exact stats on how much your reload speed is effective when you're losing guys. And actually, that's a, a kind of interesting thing. Maybe... I'd actually like to learn that myself. And that should be really easy to figure out. If I use this recording of this video to uh, see how long it takes to reload after I've lost a guy, then that will give me actually a good percentage to figure out how long, uh, how much re longer your reloads are when you start losing loaders. But alright, anyway, I'm going to make my way up along this direction. I don't want to push up any farther. I'm all by myself over here, so uh, I, I can't be on the front line. Bomber time again. Damn! It's just mostly me getting bombers, and that's how I'm getting my kills, but you know what? I'm not one complaining. Alright. I think maybe that's the point of this tank. Get bombers... And just get kills that way. Alright, so what's left? Still quite a lot of enemies. KV-2s. They haven't pushed up on our spa or our capture point. I don't know why. For some reason, my landing flaps are down. Let's put that back up. And I've got four bombs. Who wants some? Who wants some? Check out that little guy in my turret. His little face popping out. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm going to drop my bombs just on people who are stationary. Like this guy. This guy. Maybe just one a little bit in front over here. And likewise, just going to sneak one in right between those tanks. Might get kills from that. We'll see. One, two, and three. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, now we can go flying around this corner. Uh, because we pretty much killed... Uh-oh. Yeah, we pretty much killed everyone for bombs leading up to that point. That's that guy dead as well. Not aware of my existence. But I'm just going to wait here now behind this rock before I move any further. In fact, I'm not even sure if I want to move further. It might even be smarter for me to reverse. I don't know. Like I said, it's not a frontline tank. Things can go really bad. Really, really wrong. Uh, if I push up too far. Oh man. Feels bad. It's like I want to, but I know I'm not the tank to that's supposed to do it. Oh, YOLO. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. No balls, no glory. As they say. Here we go. Aha. <laughs> wow! Right through the middle of the cannon. Man! That was right through the mantlet of the can of the uh of that tank. That was absolutely insane. Normally that would just bounce off. 
Not with this cannon, no way. Oh, that's amazing. I love those kind of shots. It just makes uh, the kind of shots that are like more impossible with other vehicles. Normally that would just be a bounce. Or, you know, maybe a cannon breach damage or something. But this, it's all the way through. No stopping this bullet. This shell. Okay. So we're, I'm not going to speed on through this. I'm just going to gracefully go step at a time. Actually, there's really not that many more of them. We can just speed on through. It's a slow tank, so speed is, uh, is a bit of an overstatement. Definitely no speed with this vehicle. But... Here we go. Actually, another bomber. You know what? Let's do it. A bomber is going to be faster than I am. That's for sure. I'm just going to park myself down along here. Alright. And if anyone wants to kill me, they're going to have a little bit of an awkward shot. Because they've got to come down along the hill. And that risks them getting shot themselves. So, two guys alive. We are... Oh, second place. Unless I can kill these two last guys. With my bombs. I know where they are. Who's the guy that's first place? Abel Meng. And he's near that SPA right now. Alright. I'm gonna drop all my bombs on... Hold on, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. This is the plan. I'm gonna try to down this guy with my cannons. Sweet, we did it. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> No, I think I could have got that last kill. And look how many points I need until first place. Literally just 46. Oh man, never lucky. Never lucky. Oh, damn it. So close, so close. So, uh, so the last people need to just finish off this T-34. I highly doubt I'm going to get it. No, somebody else got it. Sitting at 46 points. I don't think there's anything that I can do to uh, get a few extra points. I don't know. There's nothing I could do. Do I get points for shooting? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, well, that sucks. Better luck next time. Can't always be first place, I guess. But there you guys go. That is some SU-100Y action. I think that is the correct way of using this vehicle. Use it in a more long-range capacity. Uh, dive in and out of cover. Get bombers. Get bombers. Work work with bombers before in between shots. Because that will help a lot. And so there you go. That is the point. 73,000 lions. Not bad. 8,600 research points. Not bad. And a bunch towards my SU. ISU 152. But alright guys. Hope you enjoyed this. What are your thoughts and impressions on the SU 100? Why? Did you like the camping? Did you like that camping trip? Getting to see the beautiful nature of Finland? And also, what vehicle should I go out with in the next video? Feel free to leave that in the comment box below. Thank you very much, guys. Until next one, this is Krebs, and I'll catch you later. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we blasting off into the ozone. The way we kick it in the dojo is local for sure. Though we gave it a rope that's opposed to the dojo. Mr. Captain.